Today we're excited to welcome someone who proves that it really is all about the journey. Kate McLeod joins us to talk about pivoting to a more creative role and combining all of her passions to build her dream business. This is School of Hustle, the show where we find advice and inspiration from people who are making their own way. I'm Shannon, the VP of Social here at GoDaddy, and I live and breathe the hustle of business. Today we're filming from the hustle of it all at the WeWork Times Square in New York City. Everybody, let's give Kate the biggest welcome. <laughs> Thank you. It's so good to be here. It's good to have you. Well, I'm fascinated by your story. You started <laughs> working at a trading desk. I and did. now you're the co-founder of The Body Stone. I am. Oh my goodness, what was your inspiration in creating a product that completely reimagines lotion? My first job in New York was trading rates at Goldman. Um, that was really not for me. I lasted <laughs> a couple of years and actually wound up in culinary school. I've always loved working with my hands. And then really long journey, years later, love brought me back to New York. And I really didn't know what I was going to do. It was actually our, my sister-in-law who ripped a bottle of lotion out of my hands and asked me if I knew what I was putting on my body. And to be quite truthful, I had never really given that question any thought. Um, she threw the lotion out and she handed me cocoa butter. Have you ever seen raw cocoa butter? It's hard. Yes, it's rock hard it's solid. Like, yeah. Cocoa butter is the most stable vegetable fat at room temperature. It's an amazing moisturizer. It goes on very nice, like silk onto the skin, unlike a shea butter or a beeswax, which is stickier or can rub or tug, you know, on the skin. But it has a very high melting point. Its melting point is our core inner body temperature. So you have to melt it down in order to apply it. My sister-in-law told me to just go spend some time with my body. We don't all have that much time. <laughs> so I took it home. I, after culinary school, I became a pastry chef. And I was based in London and Paris and South Africa and Zurich. Um, in Paris, I worked a lot with chocolate. French chocolate is called couverture. It has a very high percentage of cocoa butter. So I ah. threw the cocoa butter into my double boiler. And instead of tempering the cocoa butter with like butter or other typical fats we might use in the kitchen, I was actually going through yoga teacher training at, a, at the time and had learned all about these other base oils and Ayurveda. So I brought in some of my favorites, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel, avocado, fractionated coconut, and I wanted to see if I could change the cocoa butter, really make it so that it would just glide on contact. And this is definitely not the first iteration of this. This is the body stone. So you can have it. It's real, this is great. So it's nice, it yeah. fits in the palm of your hand. And then actually, I don't use the stone at home, but just, I mean, sorry, the cloth at home for application. But if you could just give me your arm, so you can see, this just melts right on contact. It uses, we have five core ingredients, the cocoa butter, those four nourishing oils, just melts right on contact, uses your body heat. It's a really nice application. This one, too. This one too. Yes, I like it. <laughs> and what's cool is there's no dispensing unit, no plastic, no pump, no chemicals. Going back to what my sister-in-law initially said to me, you know, do you know what you're putting on your body? Yeah. No. So five core ingredients, and also go spend some time with yourself. And this is really a large part of it. This is my self-care practice. And it's about coming to know yourself, taking care of yourself through the power of your own touch. And I love the packaging as well. So I, I had know. a custom mold made. Um, that in and of itself was really fun. There was only one guy I could find. His name is Ovidio and he's in Long Island City. And he's a sculptor by trade. And he sat me down and we came up with the stone shape together. And it was very grounding and tactile. And I literally spent probably seven months talking to different distributors. And I looked at glass and marble and copper. Um, different types of wood. And this is a sustainable bamboo farm in northern China, and it's a custom spice canister. We monitor the temperature process from beginning to end. We melt the cocoa butter down. We blend in the oils. They're hand poured. They're unmolded by hand. They're wrapped in organic, unbleached linen and packaged in their sustainably farmed bamboo canisters. So it is really a process of love. This is a ritual, a self-care ritual. It works. This is not something that was 
cooked up in a business school classroom. That's right. Or literally created to create a business. This was me over my stove in Williamsburg, and the first, I don't know, 2,000 stones were made in my kitchen, um, and that was just a hot mess. Yeah. But, um, what does success look like in your business? I think the answer that comes to my mind is to just keep going. And you just keep, if necessary, pivoting and iterating and continuing, but just making it work. But I think for you too, since your life is so much about the journey, yeah. I don't know that you ever have just one moment where it all has culminated to success because I feel like for you, you will have something else You're that will sweet. come. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I, it's an evolving story for the rest of your life. I wanted to have achieved something or I wanted to build something just to show yeah. whether I had like a little boy or a little girl. like. It's hard out there. This is a yeah. tough city. Yeah, it is. Like, yeah. you can do it. And this is actually, it's a tough city, but it's a loving, supportive city. And you can go out there and build something. Well, we're going to go out there right now and play my favorite game called Hustle <laughs> Time. In Hustle Time, we are going to set a timer for 60 seconds okay. and see how many cards you can get through. Song that is currently stuck in your head. by Natalie Bruglia. Ski trip or beach vacation? Ski trip. Describe yourself in three words. Um, feisty, scrappy, loving. Surf's up or cocktails poolside? Uh, surf's up. Least favorite candy? Oh, uh, Snickers came to my head. <laughs> Saturday morning cartoons or late night TV? Saturday morning cartoons. Drive yourself or call a car service? Drive. Summer or winter? Winter. Favorite breakfast cereal? Um, Oh, Kashi. Favorite Jennifer Lopez movie? Oh, oh, The Wedding Planner. Here How would your mother describe you? Mm, as a lot. Number one guilty pleasure? Chocolate. One word you wish you could take away from the English language? Mm. Oh, I don't know. Favorite workout? The class. Boozy brunch or morning workout? Morning workout. All right, I'm gonna count that one. 11, 12. 13, 14, 15. Favorite part of your day? Yoga with my husband. Best piece of advice you've ever gotten? Do you. Worst piece of advice? To continue doing something that you don't love because it's safe. How do you use your career to inspire others? I try and move through the day with integrity. Ever felt like walking away? Yes. Um, Starting this has been such a roller coaster. I'm so blessed to have, so as I mentioned, my husband started Hinge, and within his network, he has just an amazing network of other founders. And so I've been blessed to have exposure to them and realize that this is a constant roller coaster, but there are days where I am like, this is so cool, and I yeah. love what I'm doing. And then there are days where I'm like, wow, my ego got like, really big and I can't believe I'm doing this and what am I doing and I just want to stay in bed. One thing you still need to learn. Building a team for this is, is hard and giving pieces of it away and learning to trust yeah. and yeah. To, to actually to not, sometimes I can be really negative very quickly and I'm like no you're doing it wrong but like helping people and working together and when it's so close to your heart it's it's difficult. I completely understand. Uh, what do you want people to learn from you? That you're never on the wrong path. That you're, you're right where you are supposed to be right now and you're doing beautifully. What's next for you? Um, a baby. <laughs> <laughs> And hopefully building body stones into a national and international company. Who inspires you? Everyone who gets up and does something they love. In particular, like, my husband inspires me. People like Jen Hyman from Rent the Runway inspire me. Who challenges you? I talk about my husband a lot, but we are each other's opposites. We are each other's triggers. We either work really well together or it's like, <laughs> Um, and, and he's a tough critic, 
Like yeah. Hinge has grown into yeah. a really big brand for a reason. Um, he's hard. Social uh, was very excited to hear that you were coming as well. We let everyone Amazing. who follows GoDaddy, I let them know that they could, even though they're not necessarily here with yeah. us, they can ask you a question. What do we got? And I, I picked two that I really liked, and the okay. first is from Kelly. Okay. And Kelly asks, what is the most inspirational story from a client? A mom who had a six-month-old who was suffering terrible eczema. And the thing about, so this one, the stone I brought on the show is Mama Stone. Yep. This is completely unscented, no essential oils. So this can literally be used on the most sensitive of skin and also in the most sensitive of places. It doubles as a sensual lubricant, just a little. That's amazing. They are very amazing in the bedroom. Just telling oh. you, but going back to that story. I wasn't even thinking that. No, no go there, it's incredible. <laughs> Um, but going back to that story, <laughs> when little babies start to like, when moms start to bathe them, yeah. uh, you know, regularly and start to incorporate soap, a lot of soaps can be very harsh and yeah. very drying on the skin. And so babies can break out with rashes, they can develop like excessive dry skin, mm -hmm. eczema, and babies don't like lotion. They get it. It's right. icky. It's nasty. Um, but babies really like the stone. Yeah. Maddie asked... What was your method behind creating the branding for your company? That's a great question, Maddie. So our actual symbol, which is highly abstracted, this actually represents the Hindu goddess Kali. And Kali is a badass warrior goddess. She like drinks blood and cuts men's head off. And she's just, she's, <laughs> she is raw feminine power. Um, and she's occasionally portrayed in tree pose. Um, and so we found this amazing font and this wonderful freelance brander actually took apart the letters in the Kate McLeod and made our logo. We have one last question. Okay. Another form of advice from our pug Noodle. Oh, that's right. Now, Noodle, however, is not physically with us today because Noodle is on summer break. I'm so disappointed. But we, we have mm. we have a different plan here. He says hi. I want to show you um, just so you can see what Noodle is actually doing here. Noodle is upstate, <laughs> literally living it up. Yeah. Now he did send in his um, proxy, and we have a friend yeah. for you here. <laughs> and Noodle, his question is: um, Noodle loves to look and feel his best. And he loves to moisturize. He also understands how important it is to use natural ingredients. What should he consider as a pug when looking for his grooming products? So I actually get a lot of people that write in and say that their dog accidentally, sometimes dogs have eaten these, um, or like if they put the body stone oh no. in their legs, dogs go crazy and they lick and lick and lick and eat and eat and eat. And the amazing thing is none of these dogs get sick. Up to 60% of what we put on our skin sinks through within the first 30 seconds after application. Yeah. You might not be putting it in your mouth, but you are consuming it. So Noodle, you have to make sure that you could actually eat it and it's not toxic. Well, we all learned a lot today. Thank you for sharing all of that with us. Thank you again for having me. We always like to end the show on a final thought like a fortune cookie at the end of a great meal. Okay. Okay? I'm going to read you three quotes. Listen to the quotes and let me know which one resonates the most with you and why. Okay? Number one, life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. Number two, the way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. Number three, don't let yesterday take up too much of today. Definitely the second one. The hardest part for me was just getting out of my own way, getting over that fear. Well, I hope that everybody watching enjoyed today's episode. I loved, I loved this episode. I loved. Thank you so you. much. It was great to meet you as well. And yeah. And how can everyone follow <laughs> you on social if, if they want to look into Please your product? Please join the tribe that uses body stones. We are at the Body Stone. Um, and our website is katemcloud.com. That's awesome. And of course, follow GoDaddy across social because we are bringing fabulous entrepreneurs like Kate every week and you don't want to miss out. Thank you so much. Bye. Yay!